Hi, everybody, and welcome to Chelsea Groton Banks Facebook video. Today, we are talking about budgeting, and this whole week, we're going to be talking about budgeting. Today, we're going to start um, very small. We're going to be talking um, about your income, how to identify your income, and the things that you might need to do before you sit down with paper and pencil to do your budget. Um, so before you sit down with paper and pencil to do your budget, the first thing that, that you should do is track your spending. So the easiest way to track your spending is to pull three months of your bank statements. So um, get them out um, all three months and um, get a couple of different color highlighters. So this is the best way to, to do it so that you can see over the course of three months, how much you're actually spending in different categories. So um, if you look at one month, it might not be predictive. If you look at two months, maybe not. But if you look at three months, you're really looking at a quarter of the year of your expenses. So that's a really good and telling way um, to see how you're really spending your money. So you're going to crack out some highlighters and this is what you're going to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is highlight everything that is a debt. So um, your mortgage, your car payment, all those bills that you're paying, um, the credit card debts, um, bills that you're paying every month, um, Netflix, like whatever it is, you're just gonna highlight all those things. Um, it can be one color. Make sure it's all one color. So if you choose yellow, um, every bill that you're paying every month should be in yellow. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is crack out um, a different color highlighter. So a pink highlighter. And you're going to highlight um, all of those other expenses that are necessary. Um, grocery store trips, gas, um, you know, whatever it might be, things that you would normally budget in. Um, doctor's visits, if that's something that you budgeted and you had to pay a copay. Um, so those types of things that are necessary expenses um, that you would be paying every month. So that's, so now we've got maybe yellow, for our debts and the bills that we pay every month. We have um, pink for things that are like grocery store trips um, that are uh, um, gas um, and, and those types of bills. Now, our third color could be blue and that is going to be everything else. And everything else is a personal expense. So if you went to the hair salon, personal expense. If you went to the movies, personal expense. If you went to Walmart and it wasn't for grocery shopping, personal expense. So everything, Dunkin' Donuts, whatever it might be, eating out, those things are all personal expenses and would be your third color. So really, um, that's going to let you look at your statement and say, okay, these are the bills that I have that I have to pay every month regardless, those are all in yellow. Everything in pink are other expenses that I have every month that I need to pay, groceries and gas. Everything in blue, that is what I'm spending that is outside of my bills and other expenses that I have, okay? So you're gonna look at that. That's not bad, okay? Please don't freak out when you look at the blue. It is more than likely going to be a lot of money, okay? So that is where um, people get very surprised. So uh, don't freak out just yet. Uh, um, but it is very telling. And you most times people spend more every month on personal expenses than they even uh, realize. So highlight up all those things. Um, and, and then you're good to go. So the other thing that might be on your bank statement would be your income. So you could highlight those in green, okay? So um, just so that you know that they're coming in, right? And that would help you identify what your income is. That's what we're gonna talk about today, identifying your income. So your income, there is a choice that you need to decide right now. 
are you going to be in this budget by yourself? Meaning um, you're a single income earner for the house that you don't, nobody else in the house has a debit card for that account. Um, or is this a dual budget, uh, multi income household? So do you have um, multiple people? If you have multiple people working on this budget, multiple people have to be on board. Um, one person can't decide they're gonna do a budget and, and just do it because the other person is going to tank them um, without, before they even get started, not meaning to, um, just because they've gone and spent some money that, that wasn't budgeted for. So the first thing you need to do when you're talking about income is, are you by yourself? Can you do this by yourself? Or do you need to get somebody else on board with you? Now, when you sit down and have these conversations and you're highlighting your bank expenses, this needs to be um, a judgment-free zone, okay? Because all of those things have happened in the past. You're working on the budget right now to make things better in the future. So whatever may have happened in the past, um, this is not a good time to fight about it, right? Because that's, it's already happened. We can't get that back. We're working on the future. We need to do it together. Um, and making sure that we are on the same page doing that together. Um, that way, um, both people that are putting this budget together can feel free to have an open dialogue about this budget. You don't want one person shutting down because they're afraid that um, the other person's going to get mad. That's not going to be helpful. Um, when you're doing your budget, you really need to be completely honest with yourself. So um, somebody like me who has a weakness for shoes really needs to understand that. And maybe that's something that gets budgeted in because if um, somebody like me who may buy uh, a new pair of shoes once a month, if you say no more new shoes, um, that is not practical uh, because I might go and do it anyway, okay? Um, if I, I might say, all right, um, I'm cutting my shoe budget in half. I only get, you know, $30 a month for shoes. Um, this is the time to have that conversation. Um, it's the time for people to feel safe, to um, talk about what they need in their budget, um, and then you can come together at the end and see the realities of what will really work. And that way, in the end, you can both see that maybe some of the spending is impractical. So doing it together, it uh, really works out the best. All right, so then you're gonna look at your income. So if it's one income, it's one income. If it's two income, it's two income. Um, and potentially, um, what my husband and I do is um, for our budget, we have a third account that is a household expenses account. We um, figure out every month what percentage based on our income, based on how much we earn, is going to go into that joint household expenses account to pay bills. So it may not be a 50-50 split. If one person earns a lot more money than the other person, maybe it's 80-20, maybe it's 60-40. Um, this is a time, this is a time to decide. You can look at that by putting both people's full income in and seeing where you're at at the end. If it has to be 50-50, if it's everybody all in, like all your income has to go in, then, um, then that's what it has to be. But it may not have to be that way, um, especially when you get to the personal expenses piece. Okay, but we're gonna talk about personal expenses another day, so you'll definitely want to turn tune in for that. Um, so you're going to look at your income and potentially um, your, your partner's income, um, and also things that you're going to want to make sure to add in there are things like alimony, child support, social security, um, and any tips or um, if you uh, have any other outside income coming in, you're going to want to add that just because you want to be really clear exactly how much money you have coming in every month. Even if you're not going to allot that money to certain things. So say um, child support income is allotted to only specific things. 
you still want to account for that because those things are going to be in your budget. You just have to think about that that dollar amount is applied to, to those things. Um, but really, your budget has to be all consuming and an umbrella budget, right? You need to know exactly how much money you have coming in um, and exactly how much money you have going out so that you can know um, in the end where, where you're at. Um, so that is a pretty big chunk of things um, to do for today. So again, let me recap. Um, when you're starting a budget, the first thing that you're going to do is um, get three months of your bank statements. You're going to um, do some highlighting. You're going to determine whether or not your partner, um, if you have one, is going to be in on this budget with you. Um, if you don't have one and you're all on your own, um, it works uh, great, um, and, but it definitely works better if you've got two people on a budget that you're both on the same page. Um, and then you're going to figure out exactly how much income that you have coming in. And um, so that's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to talk about our first part of the budget of our expenses, which is household expenses. So um, tune in for that um, or go find the video in our uh, Yahoo, uh, sorry, YouTube page. Um, if this is uh, past this week. So we will see you tomorrow and have a great day. Bye-bye.